Hey everybody, and welcome to a new series, one that I've been wanting to do for a while, and this is going to be a playthrough of Legend of Grimrock. I said might as well, since they just announced that A, Legend of Grimrock has sold over 600,000 copies, and that is phenomenal for an indie game like this, especially one that is such a huge throwback to the old dungeon crawling style of RPGs from the 90s, days past my childhood, so to speak. And two, they said it did so well that they're going to be making a second one, so I want to really get through this game. I have played it in the past, obviously, um, and I did an indie snapshot about it. And since Cart Life is over, yes, Cart Life has ended, and you may ask why has Cart Life ended? Well, because even with the paid version, of which I picked up, you do not get the ability to continue with Andrus or Melanie or whoever. It's always a one-week story. It's always a short one-week story of your character, which is unfortunate because I feel like there's so much you could do to, to, to continue that game, which is really weird that he decided to end it, and I, was, I really hope maybe that the developer will come back to the project and maybe make a sequel and make it uh, continuable. Either way, let's get into Legend of Grimrock. We're going to be doing a brand new game. We are going to do uh, cre Create Your Characters. We're not doing old school mode. I, like, I like the minimap. But with the Create Your Characters, I get to create four unique heroes for each one. And honestly, what I'm going to do is uh, name them after some of my favorite YouTube personalities as well as myself. So we've got Mathis. Uh, we're going to add a prisoner here. We are going to have a Minotaur. And who best to be a Minotaur than Northern Lion himself? Now, don't don't get me wrong. The uh, Min you know, Northern Lion is not necessarily um, a Minotaur. He's a lion. But either way, uh, we, we're kind of bad at uh, That's what he's going to look like. Um, no bald ones, unfortunately. They all weird, have weird hats. So he'll be the one with the beard. I guess. Um, we're also going to have a type of mage, and the best kind of mage, I believe, is the insectoid from what I remember. remember what I remember. And this is going to be good old Total Biscuit. And he's one of my favorites, and he's going to be creepy looking like that. And then we need uh, a, th a fourth one who's going to be... What does a lizard man have? Dexterity? Yeah, we'll have a lizard man because he's going to have um, a solid uh, dex, which is going to be great for uh, a rogue-type character. So we're going to have this person... And who is going to be our fourth YouTube personality that I watch the most? Well, I have so many people that I watch. Um, let's just do Husky from Husky StarCraft because I, I like watching Husky a lot. So this is going to be me. Uh, I am going to be a fighter type. And uh, we are going to make sure that I am going to be badass at the same time. Let's, we're going to have him be a mage. Lizard's going to be a rogue. Um, let's make me a badass. We have four skill points available. What is this going to give us? Um, it's going to give us, as you can see in the top, this is this is something I didn't show in the indie snapshot, is all the skills have very thing, variable things when you put enough points into them. So, like, if I put two points in athletics, it's going to give me two strength, and I, or rather one extra strength. If I have five, it'll give me two more vitality. Eight, it's going to give me health, etc., etc. So what do I want to be good with? Well, I, I kind of picture him... Let's uh, give him some uh, good with swords. Uh, I want him to have, be pretty good with armor as well, because he's going to be kind of up front. And uh, we might as well throw one athletics for now. We're also going to give him some traits. And he's got, oh, we could give him athletics, which is going to give him plus two strength. Uh, of which, if you look at what strength does, strength is physical prowess and the strength of the character. Increase your attack power and carrying capacity. Uh, we can give him healthy as well. He's going to get two, so we got to keep that in mind. Um, we're going to give him aggressive as attack power. What's attack power do exactly? Damage output of character's physical attacks. Attack power is based on strength, skills, and equipment. Aura. Energy's going to be mage. We don't need to worry about that so much. Uh, fist fighter. A daemon ancestor. Uh, skilled. Oh, it's going to give us three more skill points. I think that might be good. We'll give him skilled and we'll give him... We'll give him athletic for two more strength. And we're going to get two more. So we're going to give him actually an additional strength on top of that. And we'll pop one more into swords just to help him out there. I think that's good. Uh, we'll definitely give him that. Next, oops. Oh, I have 10 points over here to spend. I should be doing that. Strength. Uh, what is dexterity? Ability to move quickly and perform maneuvers. Accuracy of the Kenai. Uh, so this is like evasion stuff. Vitality, overall health, and stamina. So we'll give that a 14. Willpower, we're not going to worry about magic. We'll give him a couple in dexterity. We'll do, uh... Bam, we'll do it like that. Give him a little extra strength because the Minotaur is going to be uh, looking like our beastly guy. Uh, dexterity, we're going to crank up because I think... It's his, uh, yeah, it's going to be his accuracy. We're gonna, he's going to be our main tank, obviously. So probably do like that, I think. Um, we're going to want him to have... Whoops. Oh, he only gets one skill point. Oh, God. Let's give him maces. Sure. Um, his traits are going to... He's going to get one headhunter, because it's a minotaur-only trait. And what it does is plus three 
uh, attack power for each skull he's carrying, which means we're going to give him lots of skulls. And maybe even give him two... We'll give him 15 plus 15 health. Err... Or vitality. Which one's better? Let's give him vitality, because it's going to give him health uh, and extra stamina on top of it. Instead of just giving him straight health, we'll give him that. So the Insectoid, we're going to do straight magic with him. So we want him to be good with fire magics, obviously. We'll give him for whatever spell that is. I don't know what that's going to do, but it's going to give him something. Uh, we can give him staff defense. Spellcraft skill represents your overall progress in any in the way of magic. Advancing in the skill enables you to cast more spells before exhausting your energies. I think that's going to be good. So we'll give him traits. He's got natural armor. We could give him natural armor, but I don't think I want to. Um, we could give him... We're going to want to give him something that is related to magic, of course. Let's see. Willpower. We're going to give him straight willpower. And I think even... Plus 15 energy, because, well, energy might actually be, let's take a look at what energy does. Energy to act. Strenuous activities such as special attacks and spell casting. So, let's give him an aura. Let's give him that. That'll be great. And then our rogue is going to be straight up dexterous. We could give him a couple of strength as well, and vite as well, but mostly we'll give him straight dexterity. Assassination. This skill represents your training in the way of, a, of an assassin. As you progress in the skill, you gain deadly and precise melee techniques. So, we'll definitely give him one in assassination. Uh, thrown weapons as well, because he's going to be in the back. We want to make sure he has that. And daggers. I kind of like... Uh, there's a lot of that I want to give him. Um, let's give him two more dexterity, as well as... Evasion. No. Um... Skilled, maybe? Give him three more skill points. Give him skilled, because I could just crank up the to two on each one of these. Which is going to be helpful. Let's just do it. Alright, cool. So that's our Husky. We got Husky, we got Total Biscuit, Northern Lion, etc, etc. All of them are all set, and we're good to go. So let's just start the game. Oh, no. I have a skill point. Oh, I have a skill point left on this guy? Really? Damn. Good thing I... The good thing told me that. Let's go, uh... Let's just go... Scords. Swords. You have unspent ability points. Oh, shit. Wait, I thought I spent it on him already. I guess not. Whoops. Good thing this game gives me a warning. Dexterity, I guess, for dodging, but mostly we're going to throw it into willpower. I uh, can't go any higher than 22. There we go. All right, start game. So we'll get the story. If you didn't watch any snapshot, I'm going to let this go for you. And that way you know the overall reason why the four of us, myself, Northern Lion, Husky, and Total Biscuit, have been thrown into Grimrock. The tiring spire looms above the clouds of weathered rock that has stood tall for ages, longer than the histories of men have been able to writ. It is a desolate place now, only remembered when things need to be discarded and forgotten. Alright, an airship struggles to gain altitude as it floats towards the peak. Oh, airship, that's kind of badass. Here we go. Four prisoners bound by heavy chains emerge from the ship. The court accuses them of terrible tre treasonous deeds, but by the grace of the king, their crimes shall be forgiven atop Mount Grimrock. Always at a cost, though. Always at a cost. Their final trial is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to live their life in freedom. They are at the very top of the world, and below them, only darkness and justice awaits. And we are hurled. We, I guess we fall, and I don't know how we survive such fall. As they are plunged down the open maw at the peak, their crimes are absolved. Everyone before them has perished in the guts of the mountain, but will you be able to lead them through the dark and to the freedom that awaits them at the base of Mount Grimrock. So the overall theme is that we're prisoners who have been pardoned of our crimes, but we can be free so long as we survive Mount Grimrock and escape. An interesting justice system. I wonder if they do this to people who are pretty obviously guilty, but they don't have the evidence. I can't imagine them going somebody who's, you know, innocent or just like, burp, we just send them down there, don't worry about it, who cares. Alright, so, we have all of the guys actually in exactly the way I want them. Uh, we don't have any... Uh, gear to give them, so we gotta make sure we're looking around as far as ooh, our eyes can see. So I can right click and look around, which always looks great, and uh, then I can just look around with uh, with E, uh, Q and E, I can turn like this, W moves me forward, S moves me back, A and D side strafe. And we're gonna wanna look around for secrets that are strewn about the world, which I don't think there are any here in this particular area. I think this is just the first room. I feel like I've done it quite often. And uh, we can pretty much grab anything we want. Uh, you're going to be seeing things laying around. I don't think we can take bones, though. No, we cannot. So we're just going to take a look around. Just to make sure. I don't see any secrets. And the first thing we're going to do is... This is a puzzle. This is written in things. Uh, a language. You click on it. It says, choose your fate, perish in the cell, or pick up the torch. If you pick up the torch, we can then carry it. I'm going to give it to my rogue. And then we have mobile light. The torch will eventually extinguish, but don't worry. There are a bajillion torches along the way. 
and I'm not too worried about it. So we're going to, throughout this entire thing, you're always looking for secrets, little knobs on the wall, little displaced rocks, and uh, things to just kind of hold on, to press and find secret things to get gear and whatnot. So since we're starting with very little to nothing, and by that I mean we're naked, um, we have to be very careful as to what uh, as to what we encounter. But luckily, since it knows this and it's a game, it's not going to kill us right away. So we're going to get some peasant's breeches and a peasant's tunic. Let's take a look at what we have. Uh, it's going to give us plus two protection, so we're going to give it to our human because he, he has skills and armor. So I get the armor. I'm sorry about that total biscuit, or more or less Northern Lion, rather. But Northern Lion's going to get a mace because he's got skill and mace. And we're going to take this torch as well. You never know when it's going to come in handy. Flip that switch and move on. So again, keeping your eye out is, is the key in this game and making sure you see everything that you can see is monstrously important. So here's a rock, by the way. This can be a thrown weapon, which we could put in his hand. But it also can be used as a tool. And uh, by that, you can see I press that switch, and well, what the hell? I can't get through it. How am I going to get through it? Well, you can just click the rock, and you can just place it. Boom. Done. Moving on. Mind, I might I say rather again that uh, I love the way this game looks. The lighting is impeccable. So, oh, by the way, I can hit tab. It'll give me everything I need, and uh, it can show you the map. So we're going to explore this way a little bit. Ooh, we get a key we'll give to our human. And that's going to obviously be useful. Keep an eye out for anything here. And we can always do like that, by the way. We can just look around like that, and it'll readjust our sights. This is a grid-based dungeon crawler. Like I said, very throwback to the 90s of the like stone keep and so on. Um, very, very reminiscent, like I said, of my childhood, which I love. And the fact that it's got this nice modern p uh, polish is awesome. So we're going to give him a rock. Why? Because we could throw it. We'll give uh, the insect a torch. And we will continue looking now. If I remember correctly, this actually leads in a circle. Because um, I have gone through the first floor and then some. And I feel like there's a secret around here. That way I can show you what I'm talking about as far as secrets go. And I don't... Let's take a look. Maybe I'm wrong. Looking, looking for a rock. You'll see what I mean when I say, like, you, you'll know what you're looking for after you get it the first time. But it's very, very difficult to see them like unless you're really looking for them in my opinion so alright we got a key we're just gonna drop that in there and we're gonna move on I wish we could pick up that chain right there as like a weapon how badass would that be answer is quite badass alright so this looks like we need another key to get through here I don't think we can actually read that no alright anything no so this is probably gonna introduce to us uh, to secrets yep loose rock and there it is you can see it right there this right here that's what we're looking for. That way, throughout the game, if you see me missing something, you can yell at me for it. Perfect. And that's going to give us our key and just going to tell us secret found. Ta-da. All right. Well, actually, it's not going to tell us secret found right now. Next time it will because it gave us the answer and gave us a hint, essentially. So we're going to throw a key into this thing right here. Perfect. And we should be coming across our first monsters very, very shortly. Uh, any secret rocks here? I don't see any. Make sure you yell and let me know if you see them. That way, when I don't hear you, you can yell at me in the comments for not listening to you. As it tends to be. Oh, our, our first monster, a snail. All right, so we're gonna be fighting with no with our with a mace. So, so the way combat goes is you literally just right click on the weapon and hope that you do damage. And you can throw a rock. Oh, we don't want to do that. Oh crap! I'm fighting with my fists on this guy. Okay, okay, we're back into a corner. So you gotta be careful about where you're moving to as well. Oh, wow. He's, uh, taking a hell of a beating for a snail. Luckily, our Minotaur has taken most of the beating so far. Oh, wow, this guy is resilient. So you just literally right-click. It's all in real time. You just right-click until he dies. And he's gonna drop snail beat meat, which is actually extremely important. What is this? Oh, really? Well, we're gonna go this way. Why is snail meat important? Well, there's something you have to manage while you are playing, and that is your character's hunger. And as you can see here, all actions you do consumes food. The bar turns yellow when you're hungry, but there's no penalties at this stage. If you're starving, the bar turns red, and you don't regain your health or energy. So obviously you want to keep yourselves, uh, your party fed. It's very, very important. So we're going to pick up all this loot. Ooh, a dagger, which is going to be awesome. So let's see. We've got boots. We've got leather pants. So we're going to give the pants to him. We're going to give him the boots to give him some other protection here. And what else? This dagger, a knife. Well, we're going to give it to the guy up front first. Uh, the rogue is not quite going to be useful with a dagger unless he's in the front lines. Uh, unless he throws it, which he could do, but I kind of want to give my front line guy a weapon until he gets something a little bit better. So obviously you're taking a look, I'm looking for any 
secrets at all. Any over here? No. No. So we can move forward. Uh, if you see one, let me know. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. I just have that weird feeling. Okay, here's something good. Perfect. Okay, so he's got a throwing, like, shuriken thing, which is going to be great. Because that's going to do way more damage than throwing a rock's going to do. Oh, I hear a snail. We could throw that and just do some damage. And do that. Do that. Move a little bit back. Give him the rock. And then move, move, move. Miss. So far, so good. Do a little dodge here. Oh, he's dumb. He got confused. Oh, damn it. I'm going to get... It's going to take me a little while, I think, to kind of get used to uh, the way that uh, moving around is going to take. Because I haven't played this game in a long time. And it's not exactly the most natural feeling in the world. Alright. But luckily, we can kite him around here. Pretty simply. Alright, good. That was actually way, way better than I, than I thought it was going to go. Well, we took like one hit, and we're regening health, so I'm not worried about it. There was also another snail over there, I'm pretty sure. So we should be careful. Take this rock. Luckily, I saw that. I hear him. There he is. Perfect. Back up. Wait. Swing. Miss. Oh, move. Ah, that was close. I don't think I got hit. Oh, oh, oh. oh wait. He's just being stupid. Oh, damn it. Oh, I took a hit there. Oh, I missed. Come on. Nope. Come on. Come on. You got this. Alright, you're gonna come this way? There we go. Perfect! That went actually extremely well. We got two snail meat for that. We're gonna be eating snail meat for a long time. Alright, we'll take this torch. I feel like we have a million torches now. I should probably stop taking them, but I'm not. Uh, I don't see any secret. He was guarding that way, but what's this way? I don't think we have a key. Nope. I'm always going to put the key on the, on me, just so that way I know if I have a key anywhere, it'll just be easier for me to do it that way. So we can, well, we haven't gone this way yet. So we got some exploration to get done. Hopefully we'll come across some more gear. I would love to get some more weapons for my guys, some more armor. And as I say that, what do we got? We got a, a baked maggot, another rock. The baked maggot is obviously the best. And a loincloth. Jesus Christ. Okay, so what we're going to do is give the loincloth to the Minotaur so I can give that to him. As well as the sandals. Alright. Oh, I forgot to give him the freaking pants. That would have been so much useful. What does this do? Willpower minus one. Nope. That's going to our lizard friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Husky, but oh, I always wanted to see you in a loincloth, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright. Let's, uh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Alright, moving on grid-based movement. Alright, now, the question is, where haven't we gone yet? And it looks like just one way, which is this way. And now we have two things. Now, if I remember correctly, this is actually a little mini-puzzle, and it's like, well, Mathis, how do you get across there? Well, lucky, we can just throw them by clicking off to the distance like that. And we're going to get the key we so desperately needed. I would love to take that rock with us, but if we take it and we step off, we're going to fall. And I don't know what's down there. I don't even know if we can. To close the pit and something needs to fly. I don't... I'm actually going to experiment here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Whoop. Okay, we all took damage. I knew it was going to lead us to... I'd never fallen down that pit before. I didn't know where it was going to lead us. You can't fly. What can? Okay. Alright, that worked. That heard something walking around, which actually means we were probably in a different level of the dungeon. We all took some massive damage, though. He should be okay. That was probably stupid of me. I probably shouldn't have done that. But hey, I wanted to experiment, alright? Leave me alone. Every guy's got to experiment once in a while. Alright, what do we got? Some cheese, another rock. Oh, they gave us the rock back, which is good. I don't see a secret. Do you? No. Alright, let's just go. Alright, where haven't we gone? Where's the door? The door, the door, the door, the key to the door. Oh, it's a, okay, it's a head. I was like, wait, I, I swear there was a door that we missed. And it was right here. Alright, so, key, door. And that looks like a trap, and I thought that was a trap the first time I played, but it's actually just the way out of this place. Or at least out of this first floor. And uh, it's going to give us a hint, so we'll go walk up to it. I would have been... It's going to say, heal my sight. 
Well, that means we need to give it some eyeballs, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Luckily, we can do that. Or at least we have ways of doing that. Ooh, my hand... Wow, that was the weirdest thing. My hand just literally spasmed and twitched off the mouse. That f was weird. Alright. Let's, uh... Swing this way. Keep an eye out for secrets. We should be coming across a new monster shortly. I hear him. There he is! Fungus Man! Let's go kill him off. So, this is going to be a new monster we're going to come across. Or a little bit more of a pain in the ass. I believe they do some poison damage. Alright. Is he going to come back? It doesn't matter. Whoop. Throw at him. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, we're in a wall. We're against a wall. This guy... I can't remember what it does. That's not a spell. Uh, fumble. I don't know. Total Biscuit, you're kind of a useless wizard right now. Because I don't know what the hell to do with you. we got to experiment with it. By the way, every time you experiment and even fizzle, you lose mana anyway. Wow, this guy is beefy. Oh, crap. We're going to be facing another one immediately after. Oh, God. We're in a bad spot. And our Minotaur is not doing so hot. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's go. Run. We're going to run. We'll be back. Tactical retreat! Uh, okay. What does this do? Consumable right-click item. This is all food, isn't it? Uh, well. Uh, crap. So we can heal. We can actually rest, too. I just forget how. Um, oh, right here. So we can rest. The only There's a one small risk to resting, and that is monsters could attack you, but we're going to rest. We're going to ZZZ it up and hopefully heal up. We definitely need to heal. Everybody's healing slowly, and we have yet to be ambushed, which is great. All right, good, 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 good. Only thing that's going to be bad about that is that our hunger is going to go up a little bit, but that's fine. We're okay. Totally worth it. So I don't... Does he... I don't know a spell. I need to know a spell, but I don't. Spell, question mark, question mark. Uh, you obtain power. In order to learn a spell, you also need to find a scroll explaining the runes. So really, right now, Total Biscuit is completely useless to me. Which is unfortunate, because <laughs> I don't know any spells. Now, I feel like I, I used to know one. I don't remember what it is anymore. It's been too long. Here he comes. Come on. Yeah. Alright, we gotta do a little sidesteppage here. Gotta be careful. I gotta keep an eye on the, the our rear here. Come on. Ah, uh, come on. So as you can see, we are starting from humble, humble beginnings. Come on. No, no. But we can get them in this grid kind of format, and they're not going to be able to do anything, which is great. Then we can do a little bit of this. And this is really kind of what you have to do early on uh, if you want to take out monsters without really getting hit. You just need to kind of get them in this little formation of which they can't do much. Whoa, frame rate droppage. And I will go and fix that right now. Okay, we're back, all set. And as you can see, actually, the light changed ever so slightly, and that's because our torch is dimming. I'm going to keep the torch until it goes out and becomes useless, but once it goes out, we have to switch out the torch altogether. All right, so let's head back in here. All right, what do we got? What do we got? This is where we need to be. There should be another one in here. I can hear him walking. And we can actually do that whole... Oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. We, we gotta do this whole grid-based combat to him, kinda like now, but we got another one coming, so we gotta be careful. And he's gonna come over. Oh, crap. We're gonna have to deal with them now. Shit. Uh, I would love to give you a rock. Alright. Come on. Good. Another. We have one more rock left, which we're gonna definitely throw in time. Come on, we got Jesus Christ. Oh, you're still not dead? Come on. Ugh. Our Minotaur is... Freaking Northern Lion is so poor at goddamn hitting these people. I definitely want that right now. Okay. Okay, he's gonna go back this way. Which means we can swing back. Alright, you're cornered. Ow. Come on. Come on, this way. This way. Yeah. At least uh, at least Northern Lion, when he hits, he hits like a goddamn truck. Oh. And now, uh, what we could do... Whoop! Ah, oh, damn it. Wrong button. When you see me do that and get hit, it's because I'm hitting the wrong freaking button. Again. 
I kind of need to get used to it. Oh. Still not used to the movement 100%. Another rock. Oh, it worked. Oh, that killed him. That's awesome. All right. Good. So we're a little hurt from that, but we, we, they're all gone, which is going to be great for us. So let's do one of these. We're going to get another cap, which is good. Or that's going to be more food, rather. Uh, I don't see any secrets here. All right. We're going to grab that. I don't know why I haven't... I feel like I've missed some secrets. And I, if, if I have, and you guys have seen them, I... Sincerely, sincerely apologize. Alright, let's, uh... Okay. Nothing, nothing. Another mushroom cap. And no secrets. And, ooh. A tar bead. I don't even know what that is. And that's gonna give us, actually, something very important. The one, the first part of us solving this puzzle. And that's this gem. What is that? I hear something. Oh, sweet! Oh, wow. That's awesome. I'm going to put that dagger, because he has one. So, wait, actually. Let's t let's check the stats of this dagger. So, it's got a plus 5 accuracy, and its speed is 20. 16 speed. This one's going to be better slightly. We'll give that one to you, so you can throw it. And it's going to give us some more food. And no buttons to press. All right, awesome. I feel like I missed that last time I played, which is kind of funny because that's incredibly obvious to anybody who's at least looking at the screen and is not p p blind in both eyes and attempting to play this game. I apologize if I offended any if I offended any blind people who play Legend of Grimrock. If you have, you got you should YouTube that shit because you would make millions of dollars. All right, so we got one. Obviously, we need one more, and we're gonna have to go to the other side of this area. Good, good. Anything, anything? No. There is this. Don't even know what that does. Oh, that fixes the floor. And the snails on this side, which is actually I'm happy about because snails not nearly as difficult. I can't reach. You can't. You won't throw it. Oh, son of a bitch. I figured you would throw it. Come on. Now we could drop him down the hole, but when we do, I don't think we get the experience for killing him. So we we don't want to necessarily do that. All right, well, we could do that. That was actually friggin' hilarious. Um, we're just going to give him the throwing dagger here. So we can pick it up and literally just toss the dagger at him in hopes of doing some damage. And it does. It does two whole frickin' damage. whoop de doo Before we let that guy out, let's just check around. I feel like there would be a secret over here, but uh, apparently not. What I love about this game, by the way, which I think I said in my uh, indie snapshot, was how unforgiving it is. It's very old school in the sense that it is uh, incredibly, incredibly um, not handholdy at all. Up, oh, we're losing the torch. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna let it die because I really love how the lighting looks. Though we should probably fix it before this fight. But oh well, we're coming into some light right now. Okay, almost got hit again. Oh, we lost it. Wow, come on. We're gonna get rid of that by throwing it at him. There we go. Pick that up. Perfect, and we will now give him another torch. But first, look how awesome this lighting is. For Christ's sake. It's awesome. So good. Alright, we got another rock. Alright, let's uh pop another torch on this guy. Uh, let's grab that one. Alright. This is a... Ooh, scroll of fire burst. Thank God. Okay, that's it right there. Okay, cool. Easy enough. And... Ooh, some stuff. We got a cloak. And another loincloth, which I think the loincloth is actually really bad. Because he gives you a minus one willpower. And uh, two evasion. Well, let's give that to this guy, because he takes the most brunt of everything. So, I have no issues giving it to him for now. Especially since it give any armor. If it gave, like, magic stuff, that would be awesome. But now our mage is going to be useful. He's no longer dead, dead weight. We're not carrying him around like some pathetic, useless piece of crap that he is. Because, you know, that's how Total Biscuit sees it. Um, let's just make sure we actually end up using that spell more often than not. Which we're going to keep that up at the ready. So it's just that. And then that, 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 that. All right, we learned a new spell. And we can probably just finish this guy off with some melee attacks. Yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy, part cheesy. There we go. Which we can then go boom. Oh, that's only in the square in front of us. 
All right, we'll do one of these. We'll wait for this to come back. Do one of those. Bam, 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 bam. Wow, that guy took a beating. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm not going to fire burst you again. I think it's a waste of mana. Because you can go down pretty quickly now. Almost. You almost got me. Not quite. The benefit of having a real-time combat system like this is literally the ability to dodge. It is the best reason. Or the, the best part, rather, of this game. And there's our last part. Perfect. Hey, a secret! Oh, that was just the door opening. Damn it. I saw it, too, and I was, like, so excited. Oh, right. Do this first. Put the rock on it. Once you put a rock on it, put a ring on it. I don't have to worry about pressing the button and, and reshutting it. So now we have the last part. We can head out of here, which is actually this way. And uh, we will be able to replace this man's sight and heal it for him. What is this light? Is this light just a torch? All right, cool. Whoops. And here we go. We heal his sight. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I could, did not remember that at all. This is guy's going to be difficult because we're going to have to circle around him. That shield is a huge pain in the ass to deal with. Oh, come on, Mathis. Okay, we hit him there. And we're going to do one of these. Okay, not bad. We did a good damage there. He lets his guard down when he does that. Oh, I mean, he missed. Thank goodness. Whew! The cool thing, by the way, is these guys drop their shit when they die. Alright, so this guy's going to get a shield. Uh, I don't know what to do with that. I guess we'll do that. He's going to have a shield uh, now on the offense, which is going to be great. Um, we also have this Legion Spear, which we're going to give to uh, the people in the back. Though we might want to do like that. No, I don't think we do. I don't know what we're going to do with the Legion Spear yet. I don't know. Um, it's 10 speed. Attack power 10. Attack power 12. The mace is poor accuracy, though. I don't know. The shield, I think, I think the shield is the only safe thing right now. So we'll do that. And then we'll continue. We're actually coming close to the end of the first one. So this video is going to be a little extra long because I'm, I wanted to go through the first level with you guys. And then as the levels get longer, obviously, I'm going to split them into episodes. That way they're much more easily digestible for everybody. And, uh, oop. Mm, don't know what that is. What is this? Scroll. Let's take a look. Scroll. Doors of iron. Great rewards can be found behind these doors to gain access. Look carefully for small details and use your wits. So that switch. How about this one? Oh, that was fucking easy as hell. Derp. We got a white wood wand. Beautiful. And another scroll. This magical staff is a powerful weapon when wielded by a potent mage. Perfect. And I can still do spells, which is awesome. It's going to give me five energy, uh, and I got Spellcraft 1, which I have, so that is awesome, awesome, awesome. So a nice little secret. We got the little did it ding secret noise sound, and we can just do that does nothing. Just make it sure. So what is this? Oh, my God, Matt, this crystal thing. Do something with it. That's our save point. Um, every, at the end of every level, you're going to get a save point like this. What is this? Scroll. Crystal life. Touch. Yep. So what it's going to do, just telling us what this does. We're going to be able to touch it, it's going to save, and it heals everybody to full. And then we head on down to the second floor, but that'll be next episode. So let's grab this real quick. This is Poison Cloud. We'll learn what this does, though. We'll probably have to pick it up again next episode, because I'm going to... And that's just Poison Cloud. Awesome. Poison Cloud is really useful when you have enemies in the right situations, but we won't go down these stairs until next episode. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really do hope you're going to enjoy this uh, series, because I love this game. And uh, I have a hard time playing games on my PC that I don't record recording is kind of like a uh, a nice motivator for me so as always thank you for watching if you enjoyed this please like and subscribe if you have not already for more wonderful content and i will see you guys later